Hey Jennifer, isn't that easier on one leg? Oh my gosh, you startled me, Josh. I didn't see you there. Sorry, I was just wondering why you were on one leg right there. I, I thought you play on two. I know, it's a lot easier, as you just said, on two legs. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize that life, especially sports like hockey, is actually played on one leg. If you think about it, forward strut. You got one leg, then the other. Crossovers. One leg, then the other. So the one leg is that I just worked on, you're hitting those edges for those crossovers. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Also with the transitioning, as you saw with the one leg. Okay. So you're going to make sure that your center mass is where it should be to generate the most power output. Mohawks. A lot of people can't do those mohawks because they're not comfortable going on that one leg. So, as I said, in order to generate the most power output, we focus so much on the one-legged to be efficient, and that's why we transfer this over to off-ice, which Coach Josh is gonna show what we do that's so unique and uncommon to make you the best athlete and best hockey player in the weight room here. All right, guys, so as Coach Jennifer said out on the ice, that one-legged power output and being able to stay on that one leg with the stability in your ankle is absolutely paramount to be able to be efficient on the ice and as powerful and as fast as you can be. So just a simple drill that we do to carry this over to work on just that jumping into the floor, the ice as hard as you can is just with skate jumps. And when the big thing there is getting those ankles together. If you have an instructor or a coach telling you to kick behind, that is inefficient skating mechanics and it's just gonna slow you down and that's not gonna be what you want out on that ice. So. In order to develop all this power and strength, there's a lot of different things we can do up in the weight room to have that carry over out on the ice or any other sport. So with a dumbbell, we can do one arm, one leg Olympic lifts, such as the get up snatch. You can also incorporate that get up into the clean and jerk. Or just do it without like I'm demonstrating here. So even though we're on one leg for that, we'll still do one leg even with two dumbbells, barbells. And if you've seen our other videos, we know we love split squats with one dumbbell or a barbell. We can do the same thing to generate power and strength at the same time. So you can do dumbbell snatches and split squats. You can do the same thing with the clean and jerks. And as I said, we'll do that with two dumbbells, a barbell, any different variation to challenge the body to have to adapt to that. So another big thing is injury prevention. So if one leg is stronger than the other, you're gonna compensate in your squat, a lunge, and your stride, and that's gonna lead to another body part taking over that load, which could lead to an injury. So training one arm and one leg is huge to prevent that injury as well. If you guys like this information, make sure you go to our website at ceskating.com. Sign up for our Sunday email. This will get words of wisdom for your week, as well as our training class schedule for the entire week. Also, make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching.